miles of unspoilt riverbanks surrounded by beautiful wildlife and plenty of big fish. This is why we love fishing at our local river. June 16th is the start of the river season here in England and it was time to hit the bank in an attempt to catch one of these river carp. So we've just arrived down at our spot ready for the new season. The particular area that we set up camp in is an area which we saw quite a few fish in uh, during the closed season. We went for walks, we stuck in a little bit of bait and definitely sort of located two areas where the fish seem to like hanging out. It seems like it's quite deep here as well, so definitely potential to hold some good fish. We've got quite a lot of time on our hands today, so we're gonna set up our rods, tie up some rigs, get a bit more bait in, and yeah, get ready for the magical midnight on the 15th when you can cast in. And fingers crossed we get ourselves some nice carp. We enjoyed relaxing by the river, taking a nice break after a busy few weeks of editing videos. The farmer was on the far side cutting the grasses, which although made my hay fever pretty bad, it brought in plenty of predatory birds that could feed on the newly exposed ground. A red kite was the first to start hunting, shortly followed by a kestrel. After being distracted by the abundance of bird life around us, it was now time to tie up the rods. The key to river carp in rigs is to make sure that your tackle is just strong enough. River carp literally fight like crazy. And well, the big carp that Alex caught last year on the river, <laughs> the amount of line that thing pulled, it got stuck in all of the weeds, all sorts. And uh, we've definitely learned to tackle up strong when you're targeting river carp. Putting a good strong snag leader on. Got a 15 pound main line. Gonna use big hooks. Because even the small fish will fight pretty hard. I remember in the past, some of the bites we've had from the river have been super strong. And even with the butt eye in front of the alarm, the rod buck can still lift up and uh, cause all sorts of problems. So I have been playing around with an ax. Don't worry, I'm not an ax murderer. I was just making some- <laughs> I've butter. been playing around with an ax. Mate, it sounds dangerous. Yeah, watch it, watch it. Don't trust Alex with an axe. Anyway, uh, it's come in handy to make some backrests. Perfect, that should do the trick. I have just sharpened a piece of hazel and just hammered it into the ground at an angle so the rod bar can't actually lift up off the ground, which is pretty neat, I think. And it's got a nice natural look. Looks nicer than a standard backrest. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And the rod is not going anywhere, that's the main thing. The left hand rod will have the line going down to the left of the swim, so if I get a bite, the rod butt's gonna naturally pull off to the right, but that's not going anywhere. Evening was now approaching, and Alex headed into town to grab some fish and chips for dinner. The excitement was building and we couldn't wait to find out what the night might bring. It certainly feels like time is going painfully slowly at the moment. I just wish it would hurry up, get dark and be midnight so we could cast the rods in. Um, we've seen a few fish haven't we? Like a lot of chub and a lot of bream cruising around, little ones. And the odd carp cruising around on the surface. Yeah, there's, there's mostly been the carp like further downstream in the lily pads. Um, we're fishing in an, in an opening in the lily pads where it's a bit deeper and I'm 
I'm hoping that the carp that have been cruising around basking on the surface during the day, as it gets a bit cooler, come into the deep water and get their heads down on our bait. But we'll see, everything's ready to go. Just gotta wait now. Well, it's finally the new river season. We're getting our rods cast out and we're hopeful for the night. No doubt it'll be a massive anticlimax. We won't catch anything, <laughs> but we'll try our best. We will try our best. There's definitely been a lot of fish around this area. I heard, I heard two splash out earlier, just literally just down here. Time to get my first rod out. So that's it, four rods cast out into areas where we've seen fish pretty close by. I'm feeling hugely confident, like the fish cruising around near, near the areas, coloured water. I've seen loads of fish in the area, but the new season can be hit or miss. You can think you've got everything right, but the fish just don't turn up and don't feed. But I'm gonna try and get some sleep now. Although I think I'm going to struggle to actually uh, get any sleep because I'm so excited. I just want just want one of these rods to go off. We'll have to see what the night brings. It only took a few hours to get ourselves the first river carp of my year. A cool little, very hard fighting common carp. Just chuffed really that um, we've got off the mark. And I'm really hopeful that we can find something a little bit bigger later in the session too. We'll see. I lost it. To be honest, I was a bit gutted about losing that fish, but as the sun rose, I had another chance. Oh God, oh my shoe's gone in the river. Um, Alex, I've got one of my shoes falling in the river. you got to be joking me. What a beautiful morning as well, Alex. It is lovely, isn't it? It's stunning. I've got my second carp of the season on the end. He's a bit bigger than the last one. Oh, good morning. I was in deep sleep though. It's a morning of June the 16th, sun's just come up and I've got my second carp of the session. It might just be another small common, but it's very different looking from the last, that's for certain. Very spiky little old dorsal and a few scars and stuff on this side. See, it feels like it's probably an older fish than my last one. But, two commons, pretty chuffed with that. 
think it'd be rather nice if uh, we could somehow find ourselves holding one of the mirrors that this stretch holds because we've seen them we've seen them cruising around which is yet to catch one but mustn't get too far ahead of myself it's just good really to catch a couple of fish As the sun rose higher in the sky, the mist burnt away and it soon became quite warm. We felt like a change of tactics was in order. The sun has come up properly now, it is boiling hot. Carl had those fish this morning, but there's no, no activity on our deeper spots where we were fishing the night in. But we have seen some fish cruising on the surface. I saw one about an hour ago drift along here and after going for a walk up the bank, I saw another couple as well. So gonna go stalking, got some bread, got some floating pellets and we're gonna try and catch one up the top. The key word there being try. Yeah. These they look fish, really spooky. Oh yeah, river carp often are a lot more spooky than lake carp so we have to be quiet, stealthy and uh, fingers crossed we can catch them. took the whole thing in. That mirror took the bait so confidently, but somehow I just didn't manage to hook it. Gonna try again though. Two hours later and nothing to show for our efforts, Alex handed the rod over to me whilst he took a quick break. Put down a hole. <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, he came off. Ah. Oh. oh no, you're kidding. It really was tricky to catch one, so we waited for the sun to drop a little lower in the sky before Alex gave it another go. Hey, stay down, stay down. Kind of frustrating because I had a big mirror take my bait early on in the day and I saw another big mirror in the shoal of fish that this one was in but then this little common came out of nowhere and took the bread but we have got one that's what it's all about well after the sun came up this morning the fishing got really really hard there was just nothing to be seen on our spots so the only option was to go looking for them it's been so hot today and there were plenty cruising around on the surface but that didn't mean it was easy it was actually super hard i saw plenty of other fish and some quite a bit bigger and mirrors which are definitely rarer in this river but this is still a really good result after a hard day of stalking sun's starting to go down now and i think it's time probably to head back to base camp have some food re-energize and uh, get the rods back on those spots because i reckon as it cools down a bit, they should move back down into that deeper water. Let's head back to the swim. Well, this spot where I'm putting the rig back down is what did all of the bites last night. This area just seems to have plenty of carp in really. And the bottom where like the bottom of the river there is so firm yeah, it must be hard clay or stones and stuff 
Whereas a lot of the rest of it is quite silty. Fish have definitely been feeding hard there though, that's for certain. Alex found mushrooms. Went up into the bushes behind the swim. Look at these beauties. Wow. Found some edible oyster mushrooms. Never tried them before. Why didn't you just throw it away? Because uh, I'm just cutting off like the, oh, the, the, the dodgy looking bits. The old bits. Cutting them into pieces and I'm going to fry them. <laughs> Tastes like I'm eating wood. <laughs> Not amazing. Although the oyster mushrooms were quite disappointing, we had brought some other food as well. And not long after eating, the fish decided to feed too. Oh, it's scary stuff playing them in and around all this weed and lily pads but I think it's just about clear yeah it looks big oh, it's pulling so hard come on you've got to get this one in It is. Really? Yeah, it's a mirror. <laughs> yes, we got it. <sighs> Finally, I've managed to get one off my baited spot. And it looks like a nice one. And it's a mirror as well, exactly what we wanted. Yay! <laughs> That's amazing. Get in there. <laughs> June the 16th on the river. There we go. Exactly what we were after. Caught a few commons, saw some bigger mirrors, and after seeing them, we just knew we had to get our hands on one. And we have. We've got exactly that. Beautiful mirror. What a carp. Nice cart, man. Hey. Yes, Alex. Yay! Woohoo! That's what we wanted. Well, that was disappointing. I really thought we were going to catch another one, especially on one of Carl's rods up there. There were so many fish about yesterday, but no, it was a completely silent night. But it did mean we got a great night's sleep. <laughs> Looking on the bright side. Yeah. But we're definitely going to be back soon to try and catch another one of these river carp. I need one of those mirrors though. Yeah, we do. One of those scaly mirrors. And yes, we were back very soon after that session and Carl caught his mirror he was after. But we're going to save that for another video. In the meantime, if you enjoyed watching and you'd like to learn how to catch a river carp yourself, then I'd definitely suggest clicking this video here for a full in-depth guide to river carp fishing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.